What is going on guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your second Android development tutorial. Now in this tutorial, what we're going to be doing is downloading some more stuff we need in order to develop on the Android. So the first thing that I'm going to have you guys download is called the Android SDK. Now the Android SDK is pretty much a package that includes things such as the libraries, the debugger, um, some sample code, documentation, and also the emulator, which is pretty much a simulator so we can run Android programs on our computer. So in order to do that, go ahead and open Google and go ahead and type in um, download Android SDK. I don't want to give you guys a direct link because you know how they're always changing things. The website's probably going to change, but anyways, go ahead and click on the first thing that pops up. And this is going to take you to a download page that give you guys a bunch of different options of SDKs to download. Now the first thing you're going to want to look for is what platform are you developing on. Make sure for most of you guys that you're on Windows. And that is of course, I'm assuming you're not running Linux or you're on a Mac. But anyways, and once you get under this, we have two options right here. We have a zip folder and we have an executable file. What I'm going to recommend, and evidently Android is too, is just downloading the executable file. The executable file is pretty much an easy wizard to guide you along the installation. So go ahead and click this, and the file is going to start to download. I'm not going to click it because I already have a download. But anyways, that's how you do it. So anyways, once you click it and you have your file downloaded, go ahead to wherever you download that file and double click it and this is going to start the wizard now once you're in the wizard you just gotta hit next 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 install next and once you're done installing that it's going to give you a program and this program should automatically open called the SDK manager and if it doesn't automatically open just go to you know SDK manager in your programs and you can open it this way hold on gotta itch my ear Oh, yeah, that's a spot right here. All right. Anyways, moving along. So anyways, at the end of your installation, this program should automatically open. But if it doesn't automatically open for some reason, then just go to your programs where it was installed and uh, just open it like you would open any other program. So anyways, whenever you see my program opens right here, you see that I have a bunch of stuff under my installed packages. Well, the first time that you open this program, you're not going to have any of this stuff installed. So you're going to need to install all this on your own. Now, to install all of these packages, all you need to do is hit the accept all button and then go ahead and either click download or install or one of those buttons. And then your download or installation is going to begin. Now you guys need to be patient because it's going to take like 20 minutes to install all these packages and if you get an error, a lot of people have been getting errors, just go ahead and um, cancel out of it and try to do it again. So anyways, it's pretty much, I know it sounds confusing, but it's pretty much going to guide you along. All you have to do basically is hit next, 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 accept all, next, 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 and it's going to do all the work for you. So anyways, once you have everything installed, and everything's downloaded you're good to go just go ahead and cancel out of that and now we have the Android SDK downloaded again it's a lot easier done than said yeah I said it so anyways we have the Android SDK downloaded at this point the only thing we have left to download or only big thing is a program called Eclipse now if you don't have Eclipse downloaded on your computer then what it is is pretty much the text editor we need in order to develop Android applications. So go ahead, open up Google again. Now let me go to Google so you guys don't get confused. And by the way, do you guys ever do this with you guys with Google Chrome? Um, is it even called Google Chrome or just Chrome? I don't know. But anyways, I done this for the longest time whenever I first got this. Instead of uh just typing whatever I need like download Eclipse right here. I would always go to google.com and type it in right there. So instead of just using this little shortcut bar, I always went to Google. Bad habit, but you know, whatever. So anyways, now that you put up with my little side story, here's what you need to do. Download Eclipse. Go ahead and type that in Google and click on the first link that pops up. 
Now this is going to give you a list of like a thousand eclipses to download, but the one we're looking for is this, Eclipse IDE for Java developers, and we're going to want to download the 32-bit version. Now I know a lot of you guys are running a 64-bit operating system, but either way, download the 32-bit version. And the reasoning behind this is, whenever we download the JDK in the first tutorial, that was 32 bits. So in order for this program to be compatible with that, we need to download the 32-bit version of Eclipse. So again, like I said, if you're getting an error message, even though your computer might have a 64-bit operating system, you need to download 32-bit um, Eclipse. So anyways, go ahead and click this link right here, and this is going to take you to the downloads page. What I found is you can either um, click this one right here, and this is going to give you the file, but some of these mirrors are actually faster and a mirror is pretty much just a, a different place to download from so um, you can download you know from Harvard but don't download from there there are a bunch of preps there probably Indiana University looks like a good one to me but I'm just kidding I'm, you can download from any of these ones just make sure it says HTTP for your uh, best bet so anyways once you have that downloaded it's gonna give you a file on your computer let me see if I can find it for you guys Bucky download and it's gonna look like this well yours might look like a little folder with a zipper on it but I got WinZip so it's gonna give you a zip file and what you need to do with that zip file is go ahead and right click it and it's either gonna say open with WinZip or extract or unzip or something like that pretty much you need to decompress it and once you extract everything from it it's going to give you a regular folder right next to it so once you have that folder extracted let's go ahead and click the regular one and go ahead and open Eclipse and it's going to give you a bunch of different files in here what we're looking for is this application file right here called Eclipse it's going to be the one with the weird icon next to it this purple planet looking thing so what you can do anytime you want to run this program you can either go to this directory uh, navigate through your folders and go ahead and double click Eclipse or what's going to be a better bet if you just right click it and press send to uh, desktop right there create shortcut it's going to give you a handy little icon right on your desktop and since we're going to be using this program a lot hopefully um, that's your better bet so go ahead and once you got your icon on your desktop just go ahead and double click it and go ahead and press run you need to do this every time probably and it's going to ask for your workspace just go ahead and keep your default workspace press ok and now eclipse is going to open and by the way if you get to that point and my computer's freezing that is just great that's just effing great let me close this close this program i'm about three seconds away from drop kicking my computer right now uh-huh um, this is nice so hopefully your program shouldn't do this but I think it's because I'm uh, recording with Camtasia and trying to pump like a thousand different processes into my computer but anyways if you guys get an error before that what did I just say error error before that then uh, that's because you downloaded the wrong version of Eclipse so anyways uh, you know I'm just gonna stop here because you know I don't feel like talking anymore. I think I'm going to bed. So anyways, that's what you need to do for this tutorial. Make sure you download the Android SDK and also Eclipse. And if you have any problems, just go ahead and shoot me a message on YouTube messaging. And uh, actually, you know what? I'm probably not going to look at those ever. Just go ahead and ask on my forum and someone will help you. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next tutorial.